Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you guys how to make a 2D project in Unity where you can tap to add an object to the scene and then you can also tap on the same object to remove it. So let's take a look at what this project does. I'm just going to press play here. So right now I have the Unity remote installed on my phone and it's connected to the computer. As you can see, it adds a random object. Okay, I can just press on the empty spaces. And then when I start pressing on the fruits, it starts to remove them. What we're going to do today is we're going to learn about how to add objects from a list and then randomize the object and add it to the scene. Okay, and we also will look at how to instantiate objects through touch. Okay, let's first, let's go and make a new project. So here I'm going to create a new project here. So I'm going to click new. For this one, we're going to choose a 2D template. And then let's call this one So I'm going to say touch to add and remove items in my ICT and click create. Okay, so here's the 2D project. So we're going to change this one's build settings to Android. So I've got a file build settings click on Android, click switch platform. Okay, so now the Android um, setting has been applied. We can go and close this one. And I also need to change the project settings. So it actually runs on the phone. So inside the project settings, editor, I'm just gonna choose any Android device and then that should connect it as long as I have got the Unity remote running on the phone. Okay, so, and also go to the game, go to aspect ratio. I'm gonna choose the portrait version. Okay, so I have got these sprites here that will be available with this project. You can download them from the link in the description. So it's just basically six pictures of different fruit sprites and they do have a background with them as well. Okay, so what I will do is I will create a new folder here first called sprites. Okay, double click on the folder, go inside of it, go back to the folder where the sprites are downloaded and extracted, highlight all of them click and drag them into the sprites folder. So right now it will be added as a sprite image. So as you can see in the inspector, these are 2D UI sprites. And the second part is what we need to do now is if you go and click on the camera. So actually what we can do is we can change the color of the background with the sprite so that way it looks better. So if I just drag and drop one sprite here, zoom in and then click on the camera, go to background for the camera and then click on the little eye drop and then you can just choose the background so that way when it is added it looks a little bit better like this okay and i can just simply now go ahead and delete that from here so first thing we need to do is we need to add a 2d object let's call it sprite and then a square okay so this square here is going to be the game object prefab that we instantiate to the scene okay so in here we're going to need to give it a tag so let's give it a tag for say say fruit click on the object again okay that's added we also need a box collider so if i go to add component type in box and then you should find a box collider here so we'll use the box collider because otherwise the uh, hit test doesn't work with the touch screen so we have got a box collider and a tag attached to the sprite here okay so now what we can do with this one is we can drag and drop this one to the assets. So if I drag and drop it here. So right now this is a prefab. So we can use this prefab to attach it to any other script. So we can simply now delete this prefab from here. Okay, go back to the main camera and go to add component. So here we're gonna say add and remove items so that's going to be a script okay so once the script is added you just need to open that into visual studio okay so this is the script from visual studio so now we just need to give it two public variables so we're going to first one is going to be public list right and this is going to be a list of sprites okay so just say object list equals new list sprite and then the two small brackets next to it so this is going to hold all the sprites that we included into the project here okay so all of these sprites are going to be included into the list 
Okay, and then we go public game object, call this one fruit. Okay, and then in the stop option, what we want to do is we want to check how many children of this list is available. Okay, so we're going to go and say debug.log, right, and then what we'll say is object list dot count. Okay, so we can check how many objects are available inside of this list. Okay, so in this script, we also need a, another function, so I void make fruit. Okay, like so. So this one is going to basically make the fruit. If we touch an empty um, empty space, we should be able to create a new instance of the fruit prefab. Okay, and we also accept the argument here called touch and then touch position. Okay, so it's going to find out exactly where we um, touch on the screen, and then it should be able to instantiate a object on there. Okay, so as we start, let's go back to Unity we need to add the objects to the list just to make sure it's running. So if I run the app now, it should tell me exactly how many objects I have in the list. So I have got zero objects because that's because the list here is right now empty. Okay, so let's stop that and come back to the project. There's a little lock icon here on the inspector. Once you click the camera, click on the lock icon there. That's because when I click on another object now, we will swap the inspector to that object. So. And I click on the banana one here and then hold shift and click on one so it selects all of them and then I'll drag and drop them to the list so right now the list has got six elements okay and also what we're going to do is go back to the assets and the square prefab that we created earlier that's going to go inside the fruit box here so I'm just going to drag and drop that in there okay so right now we have got the square as the game object for the fruit and then we have got the six fruits sprites added to the list. So if I start the game, okay, so as you can see in the console, it shows six because that's because there's six elements currently present inside the list. That's perfect. Let's go back to Visual Studio. Okay, so inside the update function, okay, so let's go and say if input dot touch count is greater than zero and Input dot get touch dot phase is equals equals touch phase dot began. Okay. Okay. Now I need to create a new ray. So ray equals camera dot main dot screen point to ray. Okay. And then say input touches and then we go with the first one here zero dot position so we get the position for the first tap when it happened on the screen okay and then we can say ray cast hit to hit we can also draw a ray on the screen to show visualize exactly how the touch screen actually works so let's do that okay so let's say debug dot draw ray okay and inside of here we can say ray dot origin let's say ray dot direction because it times that by a hundred uh, color oh, capital C color yellow and then you can give it a hundred F so okay so we we'll leave that there and then we'll run that later on so we can say now if physics dot raycast then we'll send in the ray and return hit from there the if hit dot transform dot tag equals it goes fruit so if the if the object that we hit has a tag of fruit right then what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a temporary game object call it temp equals Okay, and then we will call the destroy 
function so, and then we will destroy the temp object from there so all of this is happening inside when the ray goes in and it hits a object so if it doesn't if the ray goes in and there is no other object to hit right so we're gonna say touch my touch equals input get touch and then we'll grab the first touch that is available there okay and then we'll say make fruit so we will send in the touch coordinates into this function so it actually goes and creates a new fruit for us so in this function is what we're going to do is we're going to create a clone of the fruit game object with a random sprite that's going to be attached to the game objects list okay so first let's go and create a vector 3 equals uh, vector 3 we're going to call this one obj position so object position here say so camera dot main dot screen to world point okay and then we will pass in the touch position there and then we will capture the position from that touch position here okay so under that one uh, because this is a 2d project we don't really need to capture the z position of the um tap so we will reset the z one so opj position dot z is going to be equals to one okay and then after that we will say fruit dot get component on the sprite renderer okay and then dot sprite is going to be equals to object list to the square brackets here oh not the small brackets okay square brackets here and then say random dot range so we will check create a random number between zero and the maximum number is going to be object list dot count okay so that way um it will generate one number between the minimum and the maximum numbers available okay and then make sure you do a semicolon at the end of that line okay and after that we will say instantiate okay so we will instantiate fruit with the obj pauses the position and then quaternion will be identity okay with that done let's go back to unity and i'm going to try and run this one now so i'm going to click play okay so it loads up on the phone so i'm just going to make four objects on the four corners of the screen here so there's one here one four so as you can see it randomized between the two so if i go back to the scene and go to 2d as you can see the yellow line is representing the ray cast that's been sent out from the camera so you can see the ray cast that sent out and then basically that created those four objects okay so if i can just tie that up here okay so you got one two three four so if i create another one in the middle so it just creates that one and then if i okay now i can tap on them again and remove the objects and if I keep tapping, it will randomly generate a object on the screen. And then on the side here, you can see there is a square clone. So this is the so we just need to unlock this one here, and then you can see the square clone there. So the square clone is the one that's with the tag that we added to the camera earlier. Okay, and it's got the sprite renderer and the box collider attached to it. So same again. So you can just tap away on the screen, and it will create a new object. And if you tap on the existing object, it will start removing it. From there. and you can see that removing is happening on the hierarchy as well okay and um, so as usual uh, the images and the script is going to be available on the website and the links in the description so hopefully you guys enjoyed this one and i'll see you on the next one